I just want to thank everybody uh, for attending the pre-construction community meeting for the Safe Routes to School Improvement Projects, Part 2 and 3, covering the C.C. Moss and D. McRae Elementary Schools. City project number is 102403, as well as 102411 in Council District 5. My name is Brendan McKinnis. I am the project manager. Um, my email address, if you need to reach me, is brendan.mckinnis at fortworthtexas.gov. The project engineer is Kimley Horn and Associates, and the contractors are North Star Contractors and Urban Infra Construction. Uh, I'm just gonna introduce uh, some of the project staff um, that's on the call today. Um, I guess we can go ahead and start with Jeff. So, uh, uh, Jeff is helping out with the presentation. He um, helps with um, public information. We also have um, Chad Allen. Good evening, everyone. My name is Chad Allen. I'm a, I'm a project manager um, in the capital delivery um, department, and I'm working with Brendan on the Safe Routes projects. And then we have the program manager, uh, Lisette Acevedo. Good evening, everyone. This is Lisette Acevedo, and thank you so much for joining our meeting this evening. Um, project engineer, um, we have Scott Arnold and um, Amber Christensen on, as well as the contra um, contractors, Yaju for urban infra construction, and uh, Lucas for um, North Star. Hello, everyone. And then uh, Matt Kane is on as well. He will be the project inspector um, on the project. Good evening. Uh, the purpose of the meeting um, tonight is to provide information on the construction of the Safe Routes to School project. Um, that is incorrect um, it, for D. McRae and C.C. Moss Elementary School areas. The meeting will include information um, for the project limits, the project scope, the typical construction process, the project phasing and traffic control, as well as the project schedule and notifications. And then we'll answer questions at the end, or if you can, th if you think of something as you go, you can always write it into the chat box so we can make sure we get it covered. The project limits um, for both schools are shown um, on the screen with the red boxed area. That area represents the anticipated area that you'll be seeing construction activity in the field. We're gonna um, look at CC Moss Elementary School. The project areas include the following streets, Dowdle Street, Freddie Street, Grayson Street, Rufus Street, Comanche Street, Sydney Street, Donnelly Street, Castleman Street, Reed Street, Santa Rose Drive, Miller Avenue, and Baylor Street. These streets are listed in the order of anticipated construction um, once, once it begins. I'm gonna go ahead and um, look at some um, blow-ups of these areas to discuss um, the limits of the um, work. In the Northwest um, area of CC Moss, we'll be placing sidewalk along Reed Street from Rufus to Castleman along Comanche Street from S Sydney to Castleman, including a little bit of work on the east side of Donnelly at the intersection of Comanche, as well as a little bit of sidewalk on the west side, the northwest side of Castleman at the intersection of Comanche. We'll be placing sidewalk along Grayson Street on the north side from Sydney Street 
to Castleman Street, as well as Rufus Street on the east side of the roadway from Grayson Street to Reed Street. In the northeast section of the project, we'll be placing sidewalk along Reed Street from Castleman Street to San Rose Drive and additional sidewalk west of San Rose Drive towards Miller Avenue. Comanche Street will be um, constructing sidewalk in the intersection or an ADA ramps at the intersection of Castleman Street as well as sidewalk on the south side west of San Rose Drive. Along San Rose Drive, we will be constructing sidewalk on the east side just south of Reed Street, as well as closer to the intersection of the school um, near the parking lot. We'll be building some ADA ramps as well as ADA crossings at East Lytton Street. In the southwest area of the project, we'll be building sidewalk and ADA ramps along Grayson Street on the north side from Sydney Street to Freddie Street, as well as Donnelly Street intersection, Castleman Street intersection, and Dowdle Street intersections. Along Dowdle Street, we'll be placing sidewalk from Baylor to the US 287 or towards the US 287 frontage road. In the southeast area of the project, we'll be working along Freddie Street on the east side of the roadway from Grayson to Hardman as well as the intersection of Baylor Street. Uh, on San Rose Drive, we discussed the crossing that um, goes over into the parking lot of the school. On Miller Avenue, there'll be a section of sidewalk from Eastland to Baylor on the west side of the road, as well as sidewalk on Baylor Street, east of Miller, on both sides of the road. Moving into D. McRae Elementary School, the project area is going to include sidewalk and ADA ramps on Avenue N, Avenue K, Bishop Street, Collard Street, Millet Avenue, Ada Avenue, Vaughn Boulevard, Avenue L, and Avenue M. These are also listed in the anticipated order of construction. The yellow um, lines are proposed curb ramps and sidewalk locations as part of the project, and the blue lines are the existing curb ramps and sidewalk locations. In the Northwest project area, there'll be work along Vaughn Boulevard from Avenue K to Avenue M, N. On Collard Street, on Vaughn Boulevard, the, um, that'll be on the east side of the road. Uh, Collard Street will be from Avenue J to Avenue N on the east side of their street as well as some sidewalk from Avenue K to Avenue J on both sides of the street. Along Avenue M, we'll be placing sidewalk from Vaughn Boulevard to Bishop Street on the south side of the street. Uh, Westland Street will be um, Avenue K and Avenue L will be placing ADA ramps across Westland Street. In the northeast section of the um, project, there'll be work along Bishop Street at Avenue J and K intersections, as well as Avenue L and M 
will be reconstructed from Bishop Street to Little Street on the south side of those streets. In the southwest area, we placing sidewalk on Vaughn Boulevard on the east side of the roadway from Millet Avenue to Ada Avenue. Along Millet Avenue on the south side of the street from Collard Street to Bishop Street. And along Ada Avenue at the intersections of Collard Street and Bishop Street. And along the southeast project area, sidewalk and ramps will be placed along Avenue N on the north side of the roadway from Bishop Street to Campbell Street, as well as on the south side at the intersection of Little Street. Along Ada Avenue, there'll be um, ramps and some sidewalk placed on the north side at the Little Street intersection. Project scope, the area is approximately a quarter mile radius around each school. We'll be placing new sidewalks, doing driveway approach it reconstruction. This typically goes to the limits of the right of way. We um, building um, new curb ramps and replacement of non-compliant sidewalks. We'll also be placing signs and pavement markings, including crosswalks. Typical construction process. It'll start off with notifications in the field. The contractor will um, mobilize in, set up their traffic control in the areas of their work, set up any erosion control um, to protect anything from getting into the inlets or environmental sensitive areas, conducting site clearing, doing any underground utility work or adjustments. They'll start off with driveway removals and replacements. Uh, during this time, when they're replacing the driveway approaches, there will be restricted access to um, areas um, of your for your driveway. It'll likely be closed if your driveway is not wide enough to maintain um, access. This typically takes around seven days from whenever it's closed to whenever access can be regranted. They'll work on completing the ADA ramps and the sidewalk constructions after the driveways are placed. Then Hello? We'll follow up with landscaping and sodding of the disturbed areas. Once they're done, they'll remove their traffic control and then move in um, and start transitioning into the, um, the next streets. And then they'll do their final cleanup on the streets as they go. Uh, the picture on the left here is a picture of a typical driveway reconstruction. You can see they're doing the approach of the driveway and the where the sidewalk would cross. The picture on the right is that same driveway um, once they tied into it with the sidewalk and prior to any landscaping being completed. And then the uh, picture on the left here is a picture of a sidewalk um, after the landscaping has been done along the back of the curb with one of the type of driveway approaches that you could expect. And the picture on the right is the um, driveway that I showed previously after the vegetation has been reestablished. Um, this also shows a sidewalk that is offset from the back of curb. And you can see it's like farther down a little bit where the sidewalk jogs, where we went around some trees to make sure we preserve trees as we went. Uh, estimated um, schedule and notifications. Uh, 
Currently, the uh, projects are estimated to start in April or May of 22. Um, for the CC Moss Elementary, um, construction will be um, starting in mid-April. For D. McRae, it'll be at the end of April into May before construction will start. And the project duration is 240 to 270 calendar days. Estimated completion of the project will be March of 2023. Working hours will be from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. With restrictions um, and closures prohibited immediately adjacent to the school from 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. and 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. where there's going to be a peak of people trying to pick up their kids from school. So we're going to make sure we coordinate with that um, to make sure everybody can pick up people. And the contractor will also be allowed to work 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on weekends, um, provided they request it in writing and it is approved. Project notifications. The contractor will be placing um, project signs out in the field prior to starting construction. And we'll also be putting door hangers on residents and businesses seven days before construction. These door hangers will try to closely follow the progress of the work. So we make sure that notification is provided uh, before we get to your street, uh, but not too far in advance where um, you'll, you know, not be notified it's coming um, within that week. And then as a reminder, project schedule could be affected by any unforeseen events such as utility conflicts or weather. Contact information. Uh, my name is Brendan McKinnis. I'm the project manager. If you have any questions, you can reach me at 817-392-2817 or Brendan McKinnis at fortworthtexas.gov. Um, we also have Matt Kane, the construction inspector, uh, Yaju, um, the contractor for D. McRae, and Luke, the contractor for CC Moss. At the bottom of the screen, um, we do have the project links uh, for the project website. Um, that has a lot of information on the site, including the plans and uh, maps of the um, project areas showing the uh, work per location. I'd like to open it up to any questions um, that anybody might have. And right now I don't see any questions in the chat box. And if uh, anybody on the phone would um, has a question, y'all can unmute yourself and ask the question if you would like. I have a question. I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm on the web on the webinar as well, but I guess the actual microphone isn't working. But my question for you is, I I suppose I'm going to be affected by the Christine Moss, and I think you said a duration of 240 270 calendar days. I take it that's for the entire project. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And April to May of 2022 is basically the duration for the Christine Moss. Is that right? That'll be the, um, that's the start of construction. Mm -hmm. so let me go, I'll go back to the, um, that slide here. So April, April or May would be the start of construction. Um, the, if you're in CC Moss, uh, the contractor is planning to work um, closely to this order of the streets. So he'll start in um, April and then be working um, in the order of those streets um, with an estimated completion date of March of 2023. Oh, wow, that's quite lengthy. Okay, my next question for you. The lawn that's disturbed when they're doing the project is 
will you guys be responsible to replace the lawn or the vegetation upon completion? Yes, they will be replacing any disturbed uh, areas with sod. Okay. And my last question is, if there is a mailbox at the curb, which based on the uh, webinar I just saw, it appears that you guys are gonna go down the center and not at the end of the curb. So any mailboxes will not be disturbed is what it looked like to me, is that right? That is the plan. Um, I'd have, Scott, do you know of any mailboxes that were removed as part of the project or reset? Oh, I don't think we're touching any of the mailboxes. So the, the plan is to uh, work around those to leave all the mailboxes in place. Okay, that, that was my concern. And I did actually speak with the project manager and he came out and he kind of pretty much explained it, but based on the way your picture look, it looks as if it's gonna go down the middle, so it's not gonna affect it. But I just wanted to be clear while I got, have you guys on the line, so perfect. Yes, I, I believe I talked to you in the field one day um, and I kind of explained what the what it was going to look like on your yard, if I remember you correctly. Oh uh, yeah, I'm Rufus Street. It's kind of different. I mean, you explained it to me, so I was in agreement. But until I actually visualize it, and that's why I kind of joined the webinar. And then once I saw the actual picture a second ago, then it made sense. So what you explained made sense, and it all came together. So perfect. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys all for your answers as well and the clarity. Okay. Oh, since nobody else have any questions, I did have another one. The seven days where we have no access to the driveway, what, what do we do? Park on the street? <laughs> it would either be street parking or um, if you um, have a neighbor that you can discuss with, maybe like flip flop with them. Um, okay. Until the concrete reaches strength, um, you can't drive on it without damaging it. So to make sure we get the best longevity for that driveway, um, that will be the plan. Okay, understood. Okay, thanks. And that's my final question. We do have another uh, user that's another call-in user and they're muted. Um, if you do have a question, uh, we have you as call in user three. Uh, you can hit star six and unmute. Um, otherwise, if you're on the line, you can uh, you can unmute as well. Oh, just lost her. Well, I'd also just like to take this opportunity just to um, thank um, the designers and the contractor for being available today um, for the call, as well as um, any residents who were able to call in. Just another reminder, Brendan, I did place the uh, links to the two project pages in the chat. So uh, if anybody wants future information, uh, this recording will be placed there, a uh, link to it, as well as project, monthly project updates as we move along. So the progress will be checked on that website. So you can uh, visit that anytime for a relatively recent update.
Are there any additional questions this evening? And then there are no more um, questions in the chat box at this time. Thank you, Chad. Well, I just want to uh, again thank everybody for attending today. Uh, if you have any um, questions that you can think of um, that you could not ask today, just give me a call or shoot me an email and I'll uh, try to answer them um, quickly. Thank you, everybody. Awesome. Thank you. Likewise. Just connecting. Thank you.